Welcome to Austrian Stocks, in English presented by Pfeiffinger, the English spoken weekly summary for the Austrian stock market. Positioned every Sunday in the mostly German language podcast or the UCDAD in the podcast Wiener Börse, Sport, Musik und mehr. My name is Christian, I'm the host of this podcast and I will be later on joined by the absolutely smart Alison. The following script is based on our 21st Austria Weekly and in week 21 we saw another lower week for ATXDR, which lost 2.24%. ATXDR is now year-to-date at 1.85% plus, while the ATX without dividends has a loss of 1.18% year-to-date. Best performers came from the second row. Marinomate gained 19%. News came from Balfinger, Marinomate, Tumtobel, Tiaimo, SBO, Por, Lansing, EvoN, UBM, ImmoFinanz, SIMO and Unica. Spoken now by the absolutely smart. Thank you, Christian, for calling me absolutely smart. And these were the news of week 21. Monday Paufinger, as part of its growth strategy, Paufinger is expanding its European production network. That is why the world's leading provider of innovative crane and lifting solutions is investing 35 euros and 50 cents million, more than 4 billion dinars, in a new component plant in NIS. Nice. The ultra-modern plant perfectly fits into the company's value chain of more than 30 sites worldwide. Production in NIS nice will start in 2024. By the time the plant reaches completion in 2027, around 375 new jobs will have been created in the region. Paufinger, weekly performance, minus 4.98%. Tuesday Marinomed, Marinomed Biotech AG reported new record revenues in the first quarter of 2023, plus 38% to 3.3 million euros after 2.4 million euros Q1 2022, and thus the strongest first quarter in the company's history. This dynamic development was driven especially by the successful establishment of Kiragelos as a broadly effective virus blocker in a particularly strong flu and cold season. Because of higher R&D expenses, the operating result remained at a similar level of Euros minus 1.4 million compared to the same period last year, Q1 2022 Euros, minus 1.2 million. The cash position as of March 31, 2023 remained solid at 7.0 million Euros. Andreas Grassoer, CEO of Marinomed, says, In the first quarter of 2023, we were able to demonstrate that Kiragelos is a sustainably growing business in the post-pandemic environment. With new clinical data published in the first quarter on the efficacy of Kiragelos against hay fever, we were also able to create the basis for a future all-season product portfolio. Accordingly, we are currently preparing the marketing of Kiragelos for the next allergy season. Preparations for our market entry in the USA together with Procter & Gamble are also in full swing, as well as the partnering processes for our most valuable product candidates Tacrosolve and Budasolve. Marinomed Biotech, weekly performance, 19.05%. Zumdable, Lightning Group Zumdable has joined the science-based targets initiative, SBT, together with over 4,000 participating companies worldwide. This initiative aims to contribute to limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius on the basis of science-based, individual targets. The Austrian Lighting Group is hereby committed to reducing CO2 emissions along the entire value chain in line with science-based net-zero targets. Joining the science-based targets initiative is a big step. We are taking responsibility for emissions that go beyond our own production. Reducing upstream and downstream emissions is now also part of our sustainability goals and will not only accompany us over the next few years, but guide us. Transformation and innovation will be essential building blocks on the way to net zero, CEO Alfred Felder says. Zumdable, weekly performance, minus 2.52%. CAMO, in the last few weeks, CAMO has concluded and extended seven leases for around 40%, approximately 1,900 meters to the power of two of the space in the Nymphenburg Medical Center in the Ambigen Building in Munich. All rental agreements were concluded on a long-term basis with a term of 10 years. With the conclusion of the contracts, the mixed-use, office, medical center, retail, 
Ambigon is fully lit with a total lettable area of around 15,400 meters to the power of 2. CAMO, weekly performance, 1.83%. Wednesday poor, construction group Power achieved a significant increase in output in the first three months of 2023 along with a new record in the order backlog. Numerous new projects, including an industrial construction as well as the permanent business, ensure a well-filled pipeline. The year 2023 promises to be a successful one, says Carl Heinz Strauss, CEO of POR. The company increased its production output to 1.3 billion euros in the first three months of the year. This growth is on the one hand to the expansion of output in Polish building construction, partly thanks to the favorable weather conditions. However, the segments at CHNC, which includes Romania, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, also achieved significant growth 42.3% of the production output was achieved in the most important home market, Austria, with an order backlog of 8.2 billion euros, plus 2.2% compared to the previous year, power has once again exceeded its previous record, power, weekly performance, minus 4.08%, lensing, lensing and Karl Mayer Group collaborate to empower sustainable and aesthetic innovations in flat and warp knits with consumers being more mindful of the environmental impact of the products they purchase. There is a growing trend among leading brands and retailers to offer products that are more sustainable and aesthetical. This partnership will enable the adoption of tensile TM lyoso fibers and tensile TM lyoso filament yarn and warp knitting machines and further reduce the environmental impact of using stall flat knitting machines with the use of carbon. Zero tensile TM fibers in its fully fashioned flat knitting process. As a strategic collaboration between Lensing and Carl Mayer Group, the partnership represents an important step by the two companies in guiding the industry towards a more sustainable future and underscores their commitment to empowering partners in the textile chain with value, added solutions and innovation in reducing the carbon footprint of their supply chains. Lensing, weekly performance, minus 1.07%, SBO, Scholler Blackman Oil Field Equipment AG, SBO, started 2023 with tailwinds, which was reflected in the high demand for SBO's products and services. The first quarter of 2023 saw a rise in bookings of around 22% to MER 157.6, thus exceeding sales again, which grew by 47% to MER 147.3, EBIT increased to MER 26.7, up by 72%, profit after tax almost doubled to MER 21.3. Gerald Groman CEO of SBO, after a record year in 2022, we continue to report a pleasing business development for the first quarter of the current year. The persistently high level of bookings shows that demand for our services remains unbroken. But of course, we are not resting on our laurels. With our high-tech products for the energy sector, we significantly contribute to enhancing energy security. At the same time, we are preparing for the future and aim to become a strong player in the renewable energy sector as we are in our core business, SBO, weekly performance, minus 1.51%. Thursday EVN, revenue recorded by utility group EVN rose by 3.1% to €2,192.60 M in the first half of 2022-23. This increase was supported, above all, by price effects from renewable electricity generation. Valuation effects from hedges and price adjustments at EVN Warm, in Southeast Europe, higher network tariffs and an unscheduled electricity price increase for the regulated household customer segment in North Macedonia only partly offset the revenue lost at a lower network and energy sales volumes and declining electricity prices. Growth was also recorded in the international project business through progress on the major project in Kuwait. Group net result for the period equaled 217.4 million euros. That represents a year-on-year -year increase of 70.6%. EVN, weekly performance, minus 5.83%. CAMO, real estate company CAMO has started into 2023 with solid operating figures. The results for the first quarter show an increase in rental income, plus 16%, good income from the sale of non-strategic properties. Sales result 22 euros and 20 cents meters, FFO2 plus 69% and an unbroken strong balance sheet with high liquidity, cash and cash equivalents including cash deposits, 782 euros and 80 cents meters. At the same time, the global trend of falling property values as a result of rising interest rates has left its mark in the form of a slightly negative valuation result. 
U rose 2.4 meters as of March 31, 2023, after a valuation gain of 99 euros and 40 cents meters in Q1 2022, which, among other things, caused the consolidated net profit to drop significantly to 30 euros and 80 cents meters compared to the same quarter of the previous year, minus 77%. CAMO, weekly performance, 1.83%. UBM, in the first quarter, real estate developer UBM recorded a total output of 53.6 million euros, which was 33.3% weaker than in the same period of the previous year. Sales fell from 30.5 million euros to 17.9 million euros, EBT from 5.3 million euros to 1.1 million euros, net profit from 4.8 million euros to 0 euros, 9 million euros. The buyer's strike continues, which means the transaction market has now remained closed to UBM for three consecutive quarters. The company emphasizes, however, there are definite rays of hope. In March, Universal Investment signed a lease for nearly 10,000 square meters of office space in the Timber Pioneer, Frankfurt's first office building in timber hybrid construction. This take-up was the largest in Frankfurt during the first quarter, and that in a city with vacancies of more than a million square meters. This transaction proves that our products are still in demand and we are right on course with our strategy to focus on timber construction projects, explained UBM CEO Thomas G. Winkler. UBM, weekly performance, minus 13.31%. Friday Unica, the premiums written of Unica Insurance Group AG rose by 6.5% to 1,980 euros million in the first quarter of 2023 compared to the same period of the previous year. This positive development is due primarily to strong growth in property and casualty insurance across all countries as well as rising premiums in health insurance. Earnings before taxes amount to 124 million euros in the first quarter of 2023 and result in a consolidated profit. Share of profit for the period attributable to the shareholders of Unica Insurance Group AG of 101 million euros. Unica, weekly performance, minus 0.49%. SMO, the listed real estate investment company SMO AG improved its operating result in the first quarter of 2023. Total revenues increased significantly from 57.0 million euros in the prior year period to 80.0 million euros. This improvement is mainly due to acquisitions of rented properties in C, which made the most significant contribution to the increase in rental income to 47.6 million euros, Q1 2022 35.8 million euros. Gross profit advanced from 29.8 million euros to 40.3 million euros. SMO weekly performance, minus 7.30%. IMO Finance, real estate group IMO Finance recorded strong growth in both rental income and operating results for the first quarter of 2023, which was supported primarily by the full consolidation of SMO and by property acquisitions. Rental income rose by roughly 83% to 128.4 million euros. The results of operations and sustainable FFO1 from the standing investment business more than doubled to 82.5 million euros and 72.5 million euros, respectively. IMO Finance, weekly performance, minus 0.52%. And now bye-bye from Allison. And Christian, we wish you a great week. Hear you next Sunday.